Anyway, Nigel McGinnis was in the ring. And because he's another one that's from over there. And he introduced Swerve Strickland. And they they started the interview with Swerve right at 10 o'clock, 10, 10 o'clock, right at 10 p.m. Eastern. But did you notice, well, I don't know about your cable guide, but I had an overrun scheduled for five minutes on the cable guide there. Oh, I didn't notice, actually. That's interesting. It was scheduled, and, of course, then they went 10 minutes over. But I got it. I got it, because I'm used to it now. They're just, they're idiots. <laughs> but they scheduled a five-minute overrun, and they went 10 minutes over. They finally scheduled five minutes, and went 10 minutes over. Yes. <laughs> so... But it was the modern family pilot that was after. I wanted to see that anyway. So uh, Swerve talked, and then Nigel is knocking Danielson in favor and Swerve because Nigel and Danielson are still kind of working their thing. They had in Ring of Honor. And Swerve talked about all the people that he's beaten and Danielson's going to be next, and it was a heel promo. But I, I got at this point, I think everybody's trying too hard because there are no real issues. Everything seems the same. And these guys are just having to go out and make shit up on their own because they've got no guidance. And it's all guys that truthfully didn't do a lot of television because they were all in the indies. I'm not talking about Danielson. I'm talking about Swerve in this case talking about a lot of these guys that don't have anything to fucking talk about because their booker has let them down. So, and then it looked for a while like Nigel was trying to cut him off, but he wouldn't let him. And I'm thinking they're telling Nigel, hey, we're over our over. So at right past 10.05, when it would cut off if you DVR'd it and you wouldn't see it, Danielson's music plays. And he just runs in and gives Swerve the knee and Swerve bailed and Danielson got the microphone. And he was, this was the high point of the show because people were with him and he had some energy. And he said, he's the best fucking wrestler in the world. He, he bleeped, but he got the fans live and did a fired up promo about Wembley, which was probably the best one of the night and got the people going, yes, 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 to close the thing. But, good Lord, that's what happened there. That certainly did, and uh, that was AEW Dynamite. The build to Danielson versus Swerve has left a lot to be desired, and unfortunately, and we'll talk about the ratings momentarily, a lot of what they've done has been during the lowest rated part of the show recently. Well, and, and, you know, just again, what are these? I'm the best. No, I'm the best. Well, yes, in theory, everybody wants to be the best wrestler in the world, but you do that by winning the world title, not by just going out and everybody cutting the same fucking promo. It's either I'm the best in the world or I looked up to you, but you're not the same person anymore. Or why can't we be friends? 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 Because our booking sucks and it has no end. Well, that was the story of uh, AEW Dynamite. You know, you should all just take it and put it right together in a big box and mail it somewhere. That's right. And uh, while it's been rather quick since the last time we told you about something you could do, we'll do it one last <laughs> time here today. Well, I'd like to tell you people what you can do, and I'm, one thing that you need to do real quick is go to our friends at boxofawesome.com and get your Box of Awesome started, because they'll send you a Box of Awesomeness every month right when you need it. As a matter of fact, they are tracking you. It's like tracking you by satellite to determine when you are the downest, when you're the, the pissiest, when you're the most depressed, when you need a lift, you need a hand. You need a pep in your step. That's when they send you your box of awesome. All you have to do is put this little tracker under your skin, and they can tell when you're, you're feeling good or feeling blue. And when an alarm bell goes off at boxofawesome.com central, they say, oh boy, I tell you what, old Dennis, he's bummed out today. His wife left him. 
and a tree fell on his house, they'll send you a box. Of course, they can also tell other things about you, including your whereabouts and all your thoughts, but it's a small price to pay for cheeriness. Don't you agree, Brian? Well, that is certainly a fair price to pay, yes. <laughs> and it's a fair price for anybody to pay to be cheered up from uh, the plethora of products and the discounts they give you, 30% off or more in some cases. And you know how it works, folks. You just go to boxofawesome.com. You answer a few non-intrusive questions. Submit to a DNA test. Give your third-born son's birth certificate, mail it right in, and your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome that you will get every month. You can choose from the standard or premium box. The premium box has extra special wrapping, too. It's, it's very pretty. It comes in a box, and sometimes they even attach a live bird to the premium no. box so that well, that way the bird gives you music in your home. It, 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 no, chirp, chirp, chirp. that's not exi No, again, we've gone over this in the past. It's, no it's, live it's animals, premium. no livestock, nothing. No, no. Well, it, it's premium. It's not in the box. It's outside. It's part of the box wrapping to make it look festive. While we have found out that the U.S. Postal Service does indeed ship chickens or chicks or eggs. Chicks, yes. You can't have them on the outside of the packaging. Well, it, it helps make it more festive when you see that cheery little bird but anyway it's a like torture for the bird how's the bird cheery well let, let me go know, let me go i'm hey, tied to this package it's a tough economy a bird's got to have a fucking job what do you want it to be all fucking sunshine lollipops rainbows and waterfalls anyway i'll tell you what at 90 percent of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming mom and pop type brand and and you're taking care of them too in their declining years they're almost ready for the home there is somebody's going to be holding a pan for them to poop any minute, so they got to sell this shit. So they're they're moving it at prices that are motivated. So right now, folks, you can save money also because Box of Awesome is motivated to give you a discount. You're going to get fifteen percent off your first box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code JCE at checkout. Again, boxofawesome.com code JCE. For 15% off your first box of awesome, you don't know what it's going to be except awesome. And in a box.